Hi guys, I'm Umar, top boxer Sadiq, professional super midweight living in London. I was born in Nigeria and in 2016 I was in the Olympic team. In 2017 I turned professional promoted by Hall of Fame promoter Frank Warren, one of the biggest names in world boxing. I'm model and I've started alongside David Beckham. I vlog to give you all an insight into the life of a boxer. I also entertain in and out of the ring to spread love and lots of good energy. So this is me guys, I promise to give you guys all unfiltered access to the life of a top boxer. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. TBS vlog baby, it's another episode. Did I ever tell you guys I can freestyle? Listen, check it out. La quarantena no tiene en lockdown. Yo quiero go outside, but I can't. Porque estamos en lockdown. When it's over, I'm gonna rock my boss down. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Ve a la fiesta pa la rumba. My name is Uma. Yo, and I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> As you can tell, this episode is about language. I have been working on becoming fluent in Spanish since the beginning of lockdown. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you methods that I have used to attain that, that can be applied to learn any other language, I believe. At the end of the vlog episode, I'm gonna have a conversation with a native Latin or Spanish speaker. You can assess just how good I am at that point. So, yeah, let's get it cracking. Right, for complete disclosure, I'm not a complete beginner to Spanish. I actually started learning Spanish seven years ago. I'm basically, I can speak basic conversations in Spanish. What I haven't done is consistently applied myself in the smartest, best way to get myself to fluency. And since lockdown was announced, I've asked myself, how can you be a better person, Yuma? How can you make the most use of this time? And one of the things I came up with was, I'm gonna attempt to become fluent in Spanish. At the end of this video, you're actually gonna get to see me have a social distance, is that a word? <laughs> a social distance conversation with a native speaker of Spanish to assess just how fluent I am. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you guys five things that I have done since lockdown to help improve my Spanish to get as fluent as possible. Best thing is, you can apply these tips, I believe, to learn any language. So without further ado, let's get cracking. First thing, apps. A lot of people know about using apps to learn languages. I've used many. I'm only gonna reference the two that I've been using since lockdown, which are Duolingo and Fluent New. Duolingo is actually a free app online on your phone. I've completed it. However, I still review it for 15, maybe 30 minutes a day. Just go over things that I've learned before. And it's good to help refresh the memory. Fluent New, however, is a brilliant, brilliant app that allows you to watch real life Spanish speaking videos. So you've got interviews, you've got documentaries, you've got movie clips, you've got trailers, all of it. And these are short videos, typically about three minutes long, interactive, you can ho hover over the video at any point to pause it, you can hover over a word to get to elaborate on it. Speaking of words, uh, subtitles are in English as well as in Spanish with Fluent New. So that's brilliant. You can interact with it. You get the complete transcripts of the video you're watching. You get a quiz after, it's brilliant. So I've been using apps and I've been using those, you know, maybe an hour, maybe two hours sometimes a day. The second thing that I've been doing is I've been watching YouTube tutorials. So there are a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of YouTube or YouTubers who are teaching you a language. I guess you, of course, you learn lots of languages, but I've been finding YouTube pages where they are teaching Spanish while speaking Spanish. And of course you need to be at an intermediate level at the very least to be there. I don't always understand everything that's being said in the videos. However, I can follow the message that's being conveyed. And that's the main thing really. You can't be hard on yourself. You can't watch a video and think, oh, I don't understand everything they're saying, so I shouldn't be watching it. No, my rule is if I can understand 60% of what's being said, I can roll with it. And actually, when you're at the beginning of your learning, you can even just understand less. So long as you understand and you can follow the theme and the storyline, then you're doing well. The third thing I've been doing is I've been translating music lyrics. Now, I enjoy reggaeton. I enjoy salsa. I actually dance salsa. And, you know, bachata, kizomba is Portuguese. But yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been learning song lyrics, starting off with my favorite reggaeton songs. And what that's allowed me to do is start to get into a concept of, okay, these are some of the slangs that are used. These are some of the ways these words are used, these phrases are used, or phrases are put together even. What's very good about that is I'm able to listen to these songs at any time when I'm having a shower, when I'm on a run, when I'm working out, just whenever. And not only do I enjoy the songs, I, I know what's being said and I'm getting repetitions, which, is, which are very important. I'm getting repetitions of listening 
and understanding what's being said in Spanish, so that's helping my fluency. The thing that I've been doing is watching movies, TV series or online streaming series. I've been watching these with English subtitles to start with, and then afterwards, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll re-watch a movie or re-watch an episode either with Spanish subtitles or with no subtitles whatsoever. Now this works because of course I already know the storyline, so all I'm focusing on is the communication, verbal communication that's being used. I'm able to pick up on in intonations, I'm able to pick up on a lot of connecting words. Again, things such as slang, I can pick up on idioms and all of these things. So that helps tune my ears into listening to the Spanish, but nothing helps tune my ears more than when I listen to Audible. So, you know, I have Audible, which is a online service, is an app where you can get all your books. And for example, one of the audio books that I've just finished listening to is called 2000 Most Common Spanish Words in Context. And what it does is it has a narrator tell you a Spanish word, then translate it in English, and or the English equivalent of the word, then she proceeds to use that word in context in a sentence and she translates the sentence in English. So then you get to really understand how the word is used. Now what I've done is I've finished all 2000 words and now what I'm doing is I'm re-listening to the audiobook. It's about nine hours long plus. So, but again, you can listen to it doing anything. But I'm re-listening to the audiobook and I'm listening to it at 1.5 times the regular speed. So my ears get tuned into listening and understanding Spanish at a quicker speed so that I have a better chance of understanding native speakers or following a movie. And actually speaking of the movies, I'm already at a point now where I can watch a children's movie, mostly animated movies, and I can watch them without subtitles and follow the movie all the way through. And this is because of the consistent work I've been doing. Yeah, so I've been bugging a lot of my Spanish and native Spanish speaking friends. I've been, every time I speak to them, I've been speaking to them in Spanish as much as they can tolerate me for it. I've been, you know, starting conversations intentionally so I can get the repetitions out. And they correct me sometimes, which is great. And, you know, that's been helping. So the key thing here really is consistency. Like anything else, when you're learning, you just need to stay consistent. You need to believe. You're going to have times when you doubt yourself, when you think it's not clicking. You're going to have times when you, when you just feel like, my brain is hurting, I don't feel like doing it today. You're going to have times when you doubt if you ever get fluent. And these are all normal things when you're learning or developing in any way in life anyway. So the main thing for you to do really is stay, stay focused, stay disciplined, be resilient, keep working at it and you'll get there. Now you're going to witness me have a conversation with one of my friends who's a native Spanish speaker and through this you're going to get to see just how much more conversation you have become in the space of three weeks during lockdown. So hope you enjoy guys. Woo! It's the moment of truth. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm ready to rock and let's go with it. I've got Christian here with me. What's up Chris? What's up? Right, the video just cut because my story just full, but we're back. We're back. What was your question? ¿Qué fue tu pregunta? ¿Cuándo quieres que sea tu próxima pelea? Vale. So he's asking when I want my next fight to be. Y quiero que mi próxima pelea va a pasar cuando cuando pero o cuando pere. As, <laughs> you got me on this one. I want to say as soon as, pero. Uh, de, Sí, cuando se cuando se acabó esto el lockdown. Yeah. ¿Qué más? ¿Y tú qué haces qué haces al diario? Uh, yo cocinando y haciendo videos de YouTube. Ah, I asked him what he does daily, and he said he cooks and makes YouTube videos. He does make YouTube videos, guys. By the way, Chef Lopez, go check it out. Lots of good recipes in there. ¿Y qué más? Ahora, vale. Yo estoy aprendiendo. No, estoy enseñando a la gente como yo aprendí el español o estaba aprendiendo el español, especialmente durante este lockdown y cuarent la cuarentena. Sí, pues tienes 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 algo que puedes decir que quizá puede ayudar a la gente. Hold, hold on, hold on. What I just said was uh, and told them if I'm right, by the way. So what I just said to Christian was I've been learning Spanish through the quarantine and I've been sharing with the people what methods have been helping me and I've asked him does he have any advice that he wants to share with you guys? Is that what I said? Yeah. Ah, ah. Venga. Lo mejor es hablar con gente. 
con la gente, con ¿verdad? Con sí. And he just said the best way is to speak with other people who speak Spanish. Y pues por eso te vas a hablar español más conmigo, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> sí. <laughs> yeah, gracias. I've just said to him that means that he's gonna have to speak more Spanish with me, and he's agreed on camera, on notice, it's evidence right here. We've got it. A una más pregunta antes de acabamos esto. Tienes algo que quieres me pregunta. ¿Por qué haces estos blogs de YouTube? Oh, muy bien, muy bien. So I just said to Christian that we should. I'm going to ask one more question, well he's asked me now, uh, before we finish, and he just asked me, why do I make these YouTube videos? Yo hago estos videos de YouTube porque quiero conectar con mi, con mi gente, con la gente que me siguen, y también quiero mostrar cómo vivimos el, los boxeos, los, los boxeadores, porque hay mucha gente que tienen curiosidad en esto, pero no, no saben cómo vivimos porque mucha gente piensa que nuestras vidas no, no son com común, ¿verdad? Y por eso yo, yo mira a ellos como vivimos los boxeos, pues como yo, yo vivir mismo y también para conectar con ellos porque pueden, pueden sentir como yo conocen y de verdad es, es así como como parte de tu familia sí sí como de eso uh, so first of all you can tell them what I said in English and then you can correct me in English that's cool for any mistakes I might have made so basically you said that you want people to understand the life of a boxer mm -hmm. and to feel like they're connected with with you as, as a boxer um, to show them your day-to-day -day life basically yeah that's basically it and did I make mistakes errors uh, no not really not nothing that you wouldn't get away with oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> guys that means all this work that I've been doing the past three weeks is all working it's all coming together you know I'm able to have as you can see the basic conversations with a Spanish speaker and I'm going to keep working on this Christian muchas gracias para tu tiempo estaba muy esto 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 fue un gran placer sí. y gracias por tu, por tu tiempo otra vez <laughs> Ciao. That was basically me saying thank you for your time Christian It's been a great pleasure to have you on And he said you're welcome And he went and as you just saw I'm able to So before all of this like I said I was able to have You know very basic conversations such as Where are you from? How old are you? Uh, you know ask the directions But now I'm, I was actually able to Answer his questions and dissect what he was saying And none of the questions were planned as you could probably tell from my reactions and the way I was answering them. I mean, I'm definitely not fluent, is the bottom line. I'm having to think about things before I say them. I'm not completely confident in what I'm saying, but I believe that when I continue to speak with people that like Christians just suggested and I have the repetitions of speaking of native speakers or just speakers of Spanish in general, increasingly what's gonna happen is I'm, things are gonna come more natural to me and I'm gonna be able to speak you know, with better clarity, with better pace and all of that. That's it guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps you with your language journey, whichever language you're learning. Please share it with anyone who can benefit from this because, you know, language is a beautiful thing. It helps open the world up. It means you can communicate with more people around the world and that's a brilliant thing. We should all be together, one people, one love, one race. Like button, leave a comment. I always try to reply. You can also follow my social media platforms with the links down below for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Remember to share, subscribe so that you never miss another episode of the Top Box of Love. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Bring them out, bring them out.